Hi friends. So in the last video we understood how to write a macro. Before that how to insert a module. Also we have visited VB which is a visual basic editor and we understood various windows available there and tested them as well. So now we have created the macro. We have run the macro and the result is fine. And now we need to save the file for our future purpose, our future reference of our whether future usage. Sometimes we may, we may want it to share that file with other users so that they can also use them for the benefit of their efficiency. So let us go to Excel. So this Excel file is actually containing one macro which is a small message box and it's fine. Now I need to save this file. Why I am focusing on saving a file because there is a purpose. A macro file cannot be saved as a normal Excel file. It has to be saved as a different uh, file which is macro enabled workbook. Otherwise the macro will not be uh, will not be staying in the file if it is saved as a normal Excel file. So for that purpose I am saving the file save and the moment I save but press the button save one uh, window is coming up it is asking me whether I need to save as a normal Excel file or as a macro enable file. It is telling that this workbook is containing a macro and if you wanted to save this as normal Excel file it will not save the macro and you, otherwise you need to save a different format. So go to the format. There is a second option which is Excel macro enabled workbook. The moment you save it, the file is saved as an XLSM and that will be used as a macro file. And that file can be shared with other people and they can also use the macro since it is saved as XLSM and it, it has got the VBA code inserted in it. And make sure you are not saving any macro file as normal Excel XLS file because it will not save with macro code inside it so that it cannot run any macro for that. <coughs> so moreover the important thing is as we discussed in earlier videos that the security settings to be uh, properly been set so that these macros are used otherwise again macros cannot be used. So these are the important aspects. Next what? We have seen modules, we understood them, we inserted, we and discussed upon. We have seen uh, procedure, basically procedures are uh, functions and subroutines. Functions we will discuss in the next video, our rather coming videos. Subroutines we have already written a macro which is basically with starting with sub and with a name and then ending with end sub. So that, sub, that is nothing but a subroutine. We have also already discussed at a very primary level but we are going to discuss in detailed level in future videos and the most important thing before getting into the advanced level is objects. So now I will read out something in Excel object can contain another object and that object contain another object. Excel VBA involves Excel objects hierarchy. Confused? No, it's very simple. So basically it's an introduction to the Excel object model because in macros you need to play with all Excel objects. What is Excel objects means basically the Excel itself an Excel object it's an object and then workbook in it is an object under that a range is object and then the range will have cells and values and cells will have color and font also values will have color and font. So these are all of these are all called as objects. So this is the Excel object hierarchy. So by the way, uh, of the subject, this tree is made by me as a, f a small uh, with uh, shapes, and you can uh, see the video in uh, YouTube how to make a tree. Okay, just coming to the subject back. So this is a Excel object model. So, 
before getting into uh, macros if you understand this in a better way then you can manipulate these excel excel objects so that your macro can be smoothly flown so excel is itself a object workbook is an object and then range and then cells and values and then under cells color and font under value color and font so excel will have a workbook and workbook will have ranges maybe it is a single cell or number of cells and then a range will contain a cell or a number of cells and then also values and then cells will will have obviously some color background color for border color etc and then font obviously the text font need to be there also values will have color and then font obviously font is for cells and values font is very common so this we need to understand make sure that we are able to manipulate excel objects hope you understand if it isn't confusing please wait for the next video and you will understand examples of each uh, object how we explain in a code thank you